All right, fam. So this is the song. We called it the Mino intro. And I know you like to say all the time that you wrote the songs for all the... And it's never true. However, in this case... It's true, bro. It is true. You actually so did... So did I, did, I, did I not write Mino? I'm asking. You wrote this did, song. Did, did it, I, yes or no? You wrote... Did I not write Mino? Are you going to let me answer? Yes or no? It's a simple... It's quick. Uh, wait, time out. Are you going to let me answer? Yes or no? That's not an answer. Are you going to let me answer? That's a, don't answer a question with a question. Are you going to let me answer? Family, you're taking too long. I'm trying to answer. We're trying to get straight S- to the point. The answer is, you wrote this song <laughs> that's called Mino Yancey Intro. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> you wrote, wrote the music. You wrote the music for this song, for sure. The answer is yes. I wrote um, the and as you can see, I have no problem giving credit where credit is due. Uh, it's a problem that Sticks here has, but I don't have that problem. <laughs> At the end of the day... He wrote this song, <clears throat> and uh, man, just tell us your whole approach and why you even, how did this come about? This, I, uh, well, I wrote this song for, really for like a, a sound check thing, because our band has often been told we are entirely too loud once we start songs like The Adventure or Walk It Up or things of that nature. So I thought, why don't we have a song where it hits him in the mouth right out the gate. It starts off with a drum solo. So this is as loud as we going to get. And if y'all can handle that, then you can handle the rest of the song. Because sometimes we have songs um, that we play where it gets loud, but it's not loud right off the bat. And so when we come in, even the sound man, they, they got it set to where it's like, okay, this is going to sound good. Then we hit them with the full force by the first verse or second verse or even sometimes the bridge. And they're looking like, bro, can y'all come down? It's like, come on, fam, we can't come down. This music's intense. So I, f- I thought at the time, what if I come up with something where, it was really for me, <clears throat> but come up with something where. Which is why it starts with a drum solo, right? With, well, cause, Go ahead. Well, well first thing, I, I, I wrote just that A section, because it's only two sections. It's A and B section. I wrote just that A section just to practice too. Just I was in here and uh, practicing, and that, that bump, 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 bump. I actually had a problem soloing on the second hit so that but boom but boom respecting the hits when you solo get the get the bam bam get the bam bam get the bam bam get the bam bam i was struggling with it at the time so i was like why not make a musical track to practice to and then from there i said you know what we should turn this into a song like a song song and then make sure that we're high intense from the gate and then uh after my solo section goes into keyboard solo section, back to a drum solo section, then the guitar solo section, then back to the drum solo section, I, and then you're out. So that's the reason why I wrote it, because we was, te- we was told a lot that we got to come down. And we tried it, too. We tried to play our music quiet. It doesn't work. It, uh, it, it's not, we're not supposed to be a jazz trio background music while people are talking and having dinner. That Absolutely is, that's, not. That's not us. So... This song, right off the pom 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 pom, like oh yeah, you 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 know what it you is. You about out to take here. this smooth in the mouth. You got pause. Wow, <laughs> wow. So that's that's it. And then and then that uh that 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 bump bump cadence. Uh, I spoke about it in the adventure video. Um, that is that is that is a a common theme on this EP. That da 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 da. And so this song exemplifies that cadence. I mean, the whole time, the, even during the drum solo, that bump, 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 bump. The chords are moving around, but it's still that da, 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 da. Okay, da, so da. so let's get real quick into the groove that you actually played oh, uh, yeah. while, while that was happening, because I, I know we got some examples of that, so they can actually have an idea of how they can play to it on the app. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's about freedom while respecting that bump, 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 bump. Bump. So you, you don't have to play all of those every time, but it's definitely implied. You want to respect that cadence. Uh, it is odd number of uh, it's 14 bars, 14 counts, I should say. Yeah, 14 bars, 14 measures. So it's not the typical 4-4 uh, all the way to where you get to 16. So you got to take out a couple measures. So, so I, wait, so when you say it's odd, it's 14 me- It's not like a 16 bar loop because usually things are done in. Fours or eights. Fours, yeah. It's a, it's a fourteen bar loop. It's fourteen bar loop. So the groove starts over. At, so you pretty much have a basic way you're kind of playing it. Ton of ghost notes, so that I call it floating. A lot. I'm hearing a lot of drummers say that now, where the groove is kind of floating because it's it has a flow to it because of the ghost notes. And right. then oh, it's not fourteen bars. It's fourteen counts. But go ahead. I, I 
I butchered that. Four, 14 counts versus 14. The, the way that I counted on drums. Oh, Because okay. I'm counting it based off the chord progression. Yeah. The, the first chord progression, from the first chord progression all the way, I mean, from the first chord all the way to the last chord is 14 counts. So now, are not, you counting the accents it hits? Or is that what you're counting? One, two, three, four. No. Uh, so, how are you yeah, counting well, it? So while you're playing that, the, the, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four. And you're bum, 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 Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. One, two, da, da. Wait, it doesn't do that, does it? It does. Wait. That's 14. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, one. Yep. Yeah. It does. The progression starts over. It doesn't. It's just, we've just been doing it for so long, it just feels natural. It's just normal, yeah. Yeah. It's four. So, so basically do what you did. So, so that's like what, three and a half measures? One, yeah. Two, yeah. Three, four, two. Two, two, three, four, three, three, two, three, four, four, two, one, two. Yeah. Three and a half measures. That's there we it. go. So we not did, fourteen measures. Listen, three and a half. we can we could count, guys. <laughs> That's what we can do. <laughs> listen, we he play. just decides to count to fourteen. But listen, listen you can say you got two dollars and you got eight quarters. At the end of the day, <laughs> you arrive in the same place. Though the the issue is, this is how you know this isn't a scripted interview. It's really not because we actually had to count it. Right now, live, like, wait, no, what is it? I mean, like, but who, well, when you think of, like, when you when you create music sometimes, you really, we create it not to make it fit what, you know, people would typically say is the rules. We cr- kind of create it to just, oh, this feels right. Right, right. And then we realize, oh, it's not a regular loop. Yeah, so, so the way that I like to think of drums and even writing the little bit of music that I write is if it is typical, if I can play it, of course, I play it that way, like, okay, all right, that's the typical way. Now, how can we not do that? So how can we not go all the way to 16? Can I take out one chord? Can I take out two chords? Can I take out one measure, two measures, a whole count, a half a count? Like, whatever it is, that's not the typical. I don't want you to be able to expect, or I don't want you to know what's coming. I want it to feel like, oh, okay, all right, all so right. So it started over there. Yeah, instead like, of starting over where I thought it was. I, I want you to kind of almost be confused. Like, wait, do I, I may, let me count this out to see where where one really is, right? As opposed to yeah, we just can go to sleep and not really pay attention to what's happening because that's what happens a lot when music is typical. You kind of zone out mentally, and sometimes you be in your car and you're zoning out, looking out the window or whatever, and you're noticing oh, there's the sky or there's this building or yeah, there's, there's something that, that one, comes that grabs your attention, grabs your attention that's away from. The music, or maybe you're at the house listening to it, and then that you know you're on your phone, and you really didn't hear that transition, that chord, that do because you kind of check an IG, and okay, yeah, I heard the song, but you weren't listening, so it's like ah, nah, we don't want that. We want it to be not typical, un, unfamiliar. Yeah. So at the end of the day, when you guys listen to these tracks, the Untrained. drumless versions, the drumless version, the drum, what? I cannot talk, the drumless version. I called it the drumless version, bro. <laughs> Which is. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to save that for another okay. day. But the drumless version, when yeah. you listen to this, you're not going to just be able to sit down and play along. You, you need to listen to the song. You need to learn the songs. But trust me, if you're tr- looking for a challenge, <laughs> these five tracks that are on the app from my band Mino Yancey, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. And, and, and then also in the solo section, there's a break. Oh, is this about, I'm about to preach a word from God on today. Listen. In the drum solo section, halfway through, there's a break where nobody plays nothing. <laughs> okay. Listen here, drummers. Nobody plays nothing. Now, when I play it live, uh, probably maybe the third solo of mine, my third, my third solo, I might give a light a light drum fill leading in back into the hits of the song. A light. Sometimes it's just a fourth time. Do ba 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 ba. Not ba 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 ba. Break. No no no. It's already a solo section. Let the music breathe. That's all I wanted to say. So I know that you get to you be know, creative. You know, this is the part that that's that's the part that's confusing me. They get to be creative, but you're telling them what they can and can't do. Family, that ain't creativity. <laughs> it's not. Crazy. It's not. It's, it's look at me, Tivity. That's what it is. Ah, okay. Like, like let let the mu- let the music breathe, man. Like there's, 
You get a whole solo section. You you can just let, let it breathe. Listen, I'm telling you that little bit of space there does though. It does make what you're about to do next more impactful. Especially when we cut back in on those hits and you keep going. Come on. It, it, you get I'll, a save first, that, I'll save that example for another time. But yes, it is. It is. It is very get, effective. Listen, you get a first half, a first half solo, and a second half solo. Let the middle just let it be, Doc. It's called the stop and go. Well, listen, we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna address that we're, later. We're, we're, we're drumless virgins. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna go ahead and go straight to the examples. We're done. <laughs> we're out of here. It's a wrap. Thanks for checking out the Drum Tracks app YouTube channel. And if you're enjoying the videos, if you're getting anything from them, hit the subscribe button and also hit the notifications button because we don't want you to miss anything. Because if you don't, our videos might get lost in the sauce and we can't have that. But in the meantime, if you're looking for some more content, check out some of our recent videos. All right, fam? And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.